Let me give you my little tester story, because sometimes at my age, my brain has a mind of its own. Uh, and things pop, yeah, things pop into my head, and I don't know where they come from, right? So this happened a, couple, a little while back. I'm cruising through Pennsylvania, Amish country. It's February. It's snowing like a bastard. I have a rental car, so of course I'm speeding, right? <laughs> so I come around this corner, right, and there's this Amish dude steps out from behind this pile of snow. He's going to cross the street to check his mailbox. My first thought was, well, if I hit him, fuck it. I'll be out of the state if anybody here gets to a phone. <laughs> yeah, you keep ringing that bell, Jebediah. Yeah. I'm in Ohio now. I've been doing these cruise ships. Any cruise ship people out there? Anybody been on the cruise? Yeah. What line were you on? Ecstasy. Ecstasy? That, no, that was a ship. <laughs> <laughs> you know what line it was? What cruise line it was? doesn't matter. I went out, it doesn't matter. You're a shit face, it doesn't matter. That's what they're all about. <laughs> Walking around the pier going, where the, where the, I guess one of these ships is ours. I work for Carnival. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think it's called Carnival because a lot of people who cruise on it look like they might have worked at a fucking Carnival at some point in their lives. <laughs> some lovely people, there's a lot of misshapen heads at that buffet. That's all I'm saying. So I spent my days on the, on the internet. I'm not a big computer guy. I know you're probably all computer people. Here's my, here's my relationship with computers. I'm on my fourth laptop in five years. Yeah, I have some anger issues. I admit it, and I've, I realize that computers are incredible, and they can do everything but fucking defend themselves. <laughs> I'm 5-0 and on laptop boxing right now. I think I'm leading the championship, man. I do love this shit on the, on the internet. There's all kinds of stupid facts. You can, here's a couple of facts. Right now. They now make a beer for dogs. You can Google this. Called Bowser Beer. Especially brewed for dogs. Does this seem like a good idea to anybody in this room? Man? <laughs> By all means, let's pass along our addictions to our pets. <laughs> hey, does your dog bite? You only when he's drinking. <laughs> then he turns into an asshole. I gotta be honest with you. He wrecked my truck two weeks ago. He refuses to go to those meetings. <laughs> I got a cat strung out on a crack that won't come off the curtain. <laughs> Parrots all jacked up on coke. I know you want a cracker, Polly. Shut the fuck up on for five minutes, please. <laughs> Stop asking. I read this today, man. A woman in China recently gave birth to an 18-pound baby. I know. My son was seven and a half. That seemed big, man. By the way, young people, when older people tell you you've got to be there to witness birth because it's beautiful, no, it's not. <laughs> it's quite disgusting, trust me. They said, you want to hold your son? I go, yeah, hose him off and put that little hat on him, then we'll talk. How's that sound? <laughs> Why is his head cone-shaped? Am I supposed to mold that with my hands as his dad? Because <laughs> now there's a thumbprint in his forehead. I guess I just blow in his ear to pop that out. I don't know. I'm new to this. 18-pound baby. I have a feeling that baby will be walking long before she does again. <laughs> uh, marijuana's legal everywhere now. I'm from Massachusetts. Legal here. Are we legal here? Y'all happy? Yeah, man. Here's the thing, man. I'm, in, I'm older than you, most of you guys. I get, I get in arguments with, not arguments with my friends. My friends go, I don't think marijuana should be legal. I go, let's be honest, man. I've been, in my lifetime, I've been to pot parties. And I've been to liquor parties. Never once in my life was I in a fist fight at a pot party. Done have you had a pop party, someone goes, Hey, that guy just called you a fucking asshole, and you go, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I, I don't even know that guy. I read this online smoking marijuana may cause erectile dysfunction. And I read that and I thought, Well, no shit, man. It, it's hard to concentrate when you're laughing at a house plant. What happened, sweetie? Oh, the ficus said something. <laughs> and then the fern chimed in. Oh, they should go on the road. No matter how bad you have it, someone else has it worse. You don't believe me? Put on a show called Hoarders. I know. I'll be on Can I be honest? I'd rather be a fucking heroin addict than a hoarder. I'm semi At least a heroin addict has room to move around his apartment. Because he has sold all his shit to buy heroin. <laughs> you want to help out these hoarders, send four or five junkies to live with them. <laughs> In four weeks, problem solved, man. 
That house will be up. There won't be door hinges or copper wire and bathroom fixtures, nothing. But a mattress and a Ben Handel spoon. I speak of addiction in my act. I'm a recovering drug addict. I used to do a lot of cocaine at one point. A lot of cocaine. A lot. No more than what you're thinking. I have trophies. A lot of people call those mug shots, but I prefer the term trophy. I'm working on a book, right, and I figured out in 20 years of my life, I did somewhere between $300,000 and a half million dollars on cocaine. I know, trust me, that number keeps me awake nights. It's, it's, here's the thing, though. Last year, I was on a cruise ship that stopped in Cartagena, Colombia, and quite frankly, I was expecting a parade. A key to the city, some shit, man. I kept their economy afloat, but a little fucking recognition would be nice. <laughs> ah, this is Senior Kenny Children. The man who paid for all our soccer fields. Oh, he's real. He's real. <laughs> the snow angel exists. <laughs> I don't worry about death, man. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die in my sleep. What pisses me off is right before I die, that fucking alarm will go off. I thought about being cremated when I die, but I really used to drink a lot, so I'm figuring I'll probably burn for a couple weeks. <laughs> I think the thing to do if you're cremated, have your friends and the people you love just take big handfuls of you and throw them at people you fucking hated while you were alive. <laughs> that prick at work. <laughs> what the hell's that? Ken says, see ya. I thank you all for having me over, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out.